Hi, my name is Tad the Diet Coach, and today I'm going to be talking about multivitamins, what I recommend, and what I think is good, bad, and ugly about multivitamins. Um, in the in the in the category of multivitamins, there's really two classifications of multivitamins that you can usually purchase at the vitamin store or online. And the first one is a one a day. Um, the second one is a pack, a, um, a multi pack. Um, I like the packs the best. Those are my uh, uh, preferred. Uh, whenever I recommend um, multivitamins on people's programs and such, it's usually something like an animal pack or something of that nature. And usually, and the reason why is because whenever you try to pack in so much material into a small space like a one a day, you're going to, um, most of the time, they're, it's packed too condensely and it will just generally, most of it will pass through the gut and right out the same way it came that you swallowed it. So unfortunately, um, while some well, one a days are okay to take and you can get some value from them, it's better and it's better than taking nothing. Um, the the packs are oftentimes a better alternative because you get a more complete. Oftentimes they can be sustained release, which is even better because uh, you can have a much higher potency involved and then it will slowly release. Because oftentimes you don't need um, all of the multivitamins at once. Your body doesn't use vitamins and minerals that way. It uses them slowly and continuously throughout the day. And there are very few mechanisms that your body has to store these these. Um, these micronutrients in your body, and you really don't want them accumulating anyways. You want them to be go in, use them, and then do their magic, and then you're done, and then reset for the next day. So I like the Animal Packs. Um, Animal Packs makes a really great, um, several great multivitamin packets, but um, I like those, their, their brand of packets. They're inexpensive, and they have a very complete sort of um, pack for people who are active and work, who are working out, bodybuilders, figure competitors, bikini competitors. They're very, very good. Um, but it doesn't matter. There's many companies that make really great packs. What you really, and what I usually look for when I look at the packs is the mineral content. Because um, oftentimes, if you take a multivitamin, you generally, um, because the, of the density of the, of the tablets being compressed, you generally have to have a multi-mineral with it. Um, the packs generally can get away from that because you can you can put in a multi-mineral in there. And so I usually look at the uh, at the potency of your of the calcium and the magnesium. You really usually want a two to one ratio between calcium and magnesium for absorption purposes. So usually I look for about a, for, uh, about 1,000 milligrams of calcium and about 500 milligrams of magnesium. And if, they, if a multivitamin pack has that much calcium in it, then, you, then it's probably going to be fairly potent. Then it's going to be fairly worthwhile. Then you, and if you're really active, especially women, um, you really generally need about 1,000, adults generally need about 1,000 to uh, 2,000 milligrams of calcium a day, which um, uh, just to compensate for, for the activity levels, especially if you're dieting for a show and those kinds of things. It helps your sleeping patterns at night better and those kinds of things. So these are all great um, little little tiny things, but that's what I look for. That and then I, the second thing I look for on a, on a multivitamin is how much B vitamins does it have. And generally you look through and they oftentimes will be generally the same. Each, each B vitamin will have somewhat similar close sort of, um, sort of potencies. Um, I look for at least a 50 milligram complex. So you want uh, most of your B vitamins to be 50 micro micrograms or 50 milligrams, depending on what it is. If it's a B12, it's going to be in micrograms, but if it's, in, if it's like B1 or B2, it's going to be in milligrams. So about a 50 milligram complex is good. 100 is better if it's a sustained release. And by the way, that's usually the case when, that's usually what causes uh, the um, neon, you know, um, neon yellow P when you uh, when you take your multivitamins, it's your body pushing out um, the ex the excess uh, B vitamins. So uh, having a sustained release or time release um, uh, B vitamin uh, multi mineral would be or multi vitamin would be good. Um, or taking it dividing it up uh, in the day and having I think Animal Packs makes the pack where you take an AM pack and a PM pack and that usually works pretty well. So I hope this was informative. Uh, multivitamins can be a complex game. Uh, the best suggestion I have is to get a good pack um, and one that is not um, that you can uh, that you know that the potencies are where you want them and usually for generally for active people like I said the minerals you want it somewhere around a thousand milligrams to two thousand milligrams of calcium usually around that you brought I don't think you're gonna find much more than a thousand and about 500 milligrams of magnesium and then of course you and then the, for the rest of the vitamins um, you just look at the B vitamins if it's a fairly potent B vitamin a B50 or a B100 you're gonna do pretty well so hopefully that helps. I'll keep sending your questions in, and I will. This is Tad the Diet Coach saying stay positive, and I'll talk to you soon.